What's up guys, this is Bad Al coming at you with an update to the Star Wars Battlefront 2 controller project that I've been working on. Now this is based on um, the Steam version of the game that was released on Steam back in February of 2021 that added controller support, native controller support, um, to Star Wars Battlefront 2, which was a welcome addition. However, there were a bunch of bugs and incompatibilities with existing mods that um, made a lot of people complain about this release of the game. Now, it turns out that originally Battlefront 2 relied heavily on the mouse for the user interface and um, didn't support controllers very well, didn't support just using the keyboard very well on the PC version of the game. But I've been tinkering with it and I've been having some success uh, getting better support um, for the controller. Let's take a look at, I'm just using an Xbox controller right now, let's take a look at what the mappings are. And as you can see, uh, these are just the default mappings for the buttons, for the D-pad, for the triggers, and for the joysticks. Just the default, um, just the default mappings. And we'll start the game up. Now I've also been making this look more and more like the console version of the game. So like the Xbox or PS2. And you should see that with the loading screen here. And then also with the, um, the button style. Choose my profile. And then also you see we've got the background movies there, kind of like on the console style of the game. Now, because of uh, for those movies is kind of the reason why the download is uh, quite a bit bigger this time, because that's like a movie file. It's like about 300 or so megabytes. But um, yeah, so as you can see here, I'm using the controller to can navigate the menus right now. So up and down is moving up and down on uh, this button list up here. And then if we hit the up button here, we'll be transitioned to these buttons or these tabs up on top of the screen. Now in the previous release, I, I kind of had it broken where and if you hit up on training, it would take you to the credits down below, but I've got that fixed now so that we can stay away from the mouse in order to select these other um, these other options. We take a look at instant action. This instant action screen is taken from the um, unofficial patch. And so you, you can use this screen just as you had previously in the unofficial patch, but this screen really only supports using the mouse. It doesn't really support using the keyboard or the um, controller very well at all and is kind of a bad experience in my opinion. So if we take a look, um, okay, we'll transition over to the single player menu again, to the instant action alternative. Now this is from the console style. Uh, this is the console style um, instant action menu, and it's taken from the mod tools and modified a little bit. So if we take a look, we have attack on Venator right there. That's that's a level that's from the um, Clone Wars Revised mod, and you can see that it does have custom mode, and then um, it has uh, custom era support, just like on the unofficial patch. If we take a look, load into a load into a game. Choose a Republic. Now we're just using the mouse, or not using the mouse at all. We're using just the D-pad to select these guys. And now on this screen, previously on PC, we were only able to use the mouse to interact with the screen, but now it works with the controller. And if you take a look at the uh, the command posts right now, I'm toggling between both of those with the um, with the bumper buttons. So we'll spawn in there. Okay, well, also want to show you that in the 
game menu for the in-game menu we've got the free camera and we've got the fake console just like from the unofficial patch so let's go out of here um, for galactic conquest it does support custom galactic conquest like the like the unofficial patch does. This top one is from the Clone Wars Revised. And in this menu right here, um, we can use the bumpers to toggle between purchasing of um, bonus and units and then the movement map. I have the D-pad being able to select the um, direction that you want to go, kind of like on the console version of the game, lets you use the uh, thumbstick to do that. Thumbstick kind of behaves the same way, except it kind of moves the screen a little bit too. The mouse I don't think works on this screen anymore, uh, which is uh, which was an unfortunate bug, but you know, since we have the D-pad and thumbstick support, um, it's actually a, a better solution than the mouse, I believe, for this screen. It's not without bugs, though, so if we take a look at Galactic Conquest for the Republic, go look at the units. See, these are the units. These should be the default units here, uh, but the Clone Wars revised units are showing up instead, so I'll have to figure out how to fix that. Also have a bug on this screen right here, the movies don't start playing until uh, you leave those and then come back from another menu. And the options, if we go over, these options are basically the same, but if we go over to the controls and we have a new menu for the gamepad control, so we can control, uh, we can set up our controller a little bit differently. However, like if we wanted to map this crouch button to the roll button, we don't seem to have an option for that. So I'll be looking on a way to fix that because I do want to be able to map the roll to that button. Well, if you would like to try this out, um, the link to the GitHub project page will be down below and you'll be able to download it and try it out. I'll also mention that this only works with the Steam version of the game, so you must own this game on Steam in order to use it. In order to use this uh, controller support package, it will not work with the DVD version of the game. It will not work with the GOG version of the game or any other version that you might have. It must be Steam. Well, that's about it here. I uh, hope you enjoy using your controller on Battlefront 2 as much as I have. Peace out.